Welcome back guys, Jet Scott here as always with Scott Speed Shop and today we're going to show you some pretty nifty stuff that came in the mail and what I'm talking about is that neat little box right there it's got a Jags logo on it, pretty neat and uh, well, you know, if you guys didn't check out the Indy video you know, Indianapolis swap meet stuff I'm for you to go check it out the video's doing pretty good but I'd like to get a little more viewage on that thing plus I did that video, not just for the views, but I wanted to show you guys what you're missing out on. And plus, had an awesome time with the BTP battery production guys. And I'll give you a little hint. We're working on actual merchandise for the channel now. So you guys can finally stop asking me about it. I, It's going to work out pretty good. We got designs we're working on. And we'll finally be selling, you know, cool t-shirts and maybe hats and whatnot maybe bannered i don't know we'll see what comes out of it but um just want to show you guys what we're fighting now with gold kansas weather came back home and it was beautiful and uh this just happened the first deal of rain and uh i'm gonna make it really hard to work on jezebel to put the headers on but um uh, i am serious about getting jezebel done it's supposed to rain all weekend but i just want to show you how serious i am about racing jezebel this year so we say we open this box so as always from jags we got this very fantastic box i mean as far as boxes go uh, being a businessman who sells and buys parts all the time epic box amazing box and we're going to open with the patented scott speed shop prison shank guaranteed to cut yourself at least four times and what do we got in here? Oh, 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 can't see, oh, oh, and are you ready? Are you ready? Wah! Well, my first official helmet. <clears throat> and some of you guys might be like, well, Jed, is Jezbo really going to be fast and require that kind of helmet? Eh, probably not, but you know what? You only buy a good helmet a couple of times. Oh, we got extra padding. But long story short of this helmet, my good friend Rob and I were looking at helmets online and looking for something that wouldn't be too ridiculously overkill. And we happened to find one that we both fell in love with. And it was a price that I could afford. Well, I could afford to spend. I felt comfortable spending. So, we're going to check this baby out. It's actually really nice packaging. And we got a bag, Rob. See that? We did get a bag. We were kind of nervous we weren't going to get a bag for this price. So what do we got? Oh, we got stickers. Stickers is good. Ooh, that, oh my God. That is gorgeous. We got pearl white. Look at that bad boy. I mean, I just want to make sure you guys are getting this. Like, this is actual pearl white. Like, there's actual flake in there and the contours. All the lettering right there might be kind of hard to see. I bet you that probably comes off. I hope that comes off. That's a nice helmet. I'll put a link down in the description to this bad boy if you're interested. And uh, let's just make sure it fits because helmets, they got a weird sizing thing I'm not real good with. And... Uh, well, um, can I open this? I, I've never had a real helmet like this before, as you can clearly tell. I don't really even know how to open the dang thing. But, uh, <clears throat> so I didn't have one of those special tapes, so I took a piece of Teflon tape, rolled it out, measured my head, and then laid it down on my desk, tape measured it, and we should be a large, which seems kind of small for my big ass head, so... We'll see if that goes on there. All right, well, we're in train at all my Scott Speed Shop work shirts are in the washer, of course. So the first thing we got to do, Jake's hat. Don't mind my hair. I ain't got to take a shower yet today. I'm going to imagine those got to come off. <clears throat> and this is, this is taking me right back to doing the Mustang video where I tried to crawl in it. Oh, that's pretty tight. It feels pretty good. 
Oh god. I don't know how to flip the visor up. I'm blind, guys. I don't know where I'm going. But I feel fast. I feel cool. It's getting foggy in here. I kind of feel like a less cool version of Darth Vader. It's getting really foggy. I wonder if this thing's got a defroster. I hope it does. Oh, I hope there's some kind of comedy coming from this. Because I feel like a legitimate dork. I really do. I feel like this helmet is a tad bit overkill for what I need. <coughs> but I can't see shit. Um, so I hope this is coming out pretty good. I mean, I, I feel kind of cool. Hang on. The be There we go. Yep. Uh-huh. We're going to need a bigger hat, Rob. We're going to need a bigger hat. Oh, shit. Well. Ugh. The helmet fits. That's a good thing. And I probably got really cool hair. I probably do. Hang on. No, I don't. I, I still look like a dork. <coughs> Overall, fits great. I'm, I'm too stupid to know how this visor flips up. So I had to figure that crap out. Um, I bet you there's instructions, but this is helmet. This helmet is certified for 2020. It's SA 2020. So let's see. And of course made in China. That's typical, but I know you guys won't be able to see the, the actual pearl on it. Cause I don't like just white helmets, but the pearl on this baby is gorgeous. And I think we'll probably do like some Jezebel something or whatever. Cause this helmet will be for Jezebel only typically, but Hey, we got a cool helmet now. So, let me bag this baby up. We'll do some talking. By the way, I figured out how to get the visor open. It's got a little pull tabby. I figured it out. I'm not a complete idiot. I kind of feel cool. I might just walk around for the rest of the day with this. Of course, the people at Walmart, nah, people at Walmart will think this is completely normal. Hey, I don't need a mask anymore to go to Walmart. You know, I don't want to wear a mask. I know nobody does. So, there we go. I don't need a mask now. And I feel so cool. However, the whole fogging thing might be a problem. Because not only are my glasses fogging, but so is the visor. Yep. That could be a problem. It, yeah. Fresh air. Now I'll tell you what could be really bad is if you had some kind of recirculating system in the helmet and uh, you accidentally farted and it got stuck in there and you had to breathe your fart all day. That'd be bad. But let's go sit down and chat. So yeah, I know there's not much sunlight out here but I was hoping to maybe get a glimpse at that flake but that, that ain't gonna happen. That's gonna fail. Oh well. Anyway, so what's going on with Jezebel? So of course we're fighting awful weather again. It, it's supposed to rain all weekend. So as you can see, the headers are still hung up here. I actually moved one header over there so I could refinish a stock on a thingy. And uh, let you in on a little bit of secret. So I got a call from the machinist. The heads for the pro stock engine are almost done. And when the heads are done for this, then we can get this engine put back together. We're going to take it all back apart, probably clean everything up just one last time, reassemble it with fresh assembly lube, get that baby ready to rock and roll. So we actually will probably get to hear that thing run at some point this year, probably summertime, probably be a good time to do it. And we got a bunch of little things to finish up on it. Like it needs a real oil pump in the myelin system and all that stuff. And we need to get Jezebel's headlights working. And there's the motor. I got the bracket. Actually, the motor and bracket over here. That just has the rod. So that's ready to go. Ooh, don't you go nowhere. And I got a new spacer I want to put on, I think, the duster. And, of course, with the duster, we need to... Uh, I haven't drove the car a whole lot because of all the snow and everything. And the underneath the car is not coated at all. In fact, let's go look at the so duster. So we're out here with the old duster. And... Like I was saying, I haven't drove the car a whole lot simply because the underneath the car is not undercoated at all. And I have undercoating and I have 415 still. 
So the idea is to get this car on a nice day, not today or this weekend, but get it in the air and paint the whole underside of the car. I smell propane in trailer park. But uh, we're gonna undercoat the entire underneath the car, do the wheel tubs and everything so that way it kills some of the rattles. But uh, that's about as far as I'm probably gonna go with the duster. I ain't found an engine I want yet for it to replace the 360. And I really don't want to mess with the engine. It's in there because it runs good. There's no reason to dig into it. Just If I ever find an engine for the car I want to build, I'll pluck that engine out, sell it as a good running unit, and that'll be the plan for it. And uh, But just having a hard time falling in love with the Duster. It's a great car. I love it. But I don't love it like I love the Javelin or the Satellite or even the Dart. And, of course, the Dart, you know, a four-speed swap got to happen this year, hopefully. I got all the parts now for dad's four speed swap and his charger, except the clutch setup. We still got to get the clutch setup for it. But the main focus is getting Jezebel at least put back together because she is in a hundred pieces right now again for the fifth time. I don't know. We just need to get a good day now. Fight the weather. Freaking rain. If it wasn't for rain and snow, we wouldn't have any kind of days in Kansas. But that's kind of what's going on. But I felt like I owed it to you guys to get a little explanation. Oh, and I did pick this up at Indy. You know what that is? That is a uh, 68 or 9 non-console B-body shifter. And if you don't know anything about me, I'm not big on pistol grips. I really ain't. And I hate to say that being a Mopar guy, but she's never been a big pistol grip guy. So if I ever get tired of pistol grips, I got that baby to put in Jezebel. There's something about the feeling of that shifter versus a pistol grip I like more and insert all your ball jokes <laughs> right now because perfect time to sell them and yeah so yeah as you can see we got all the hemi stuff laid out my stage five roller rockers we did a video on of course dad's beautiful console let's just take a minute and just admire this piece of art oh yeah and of course jezebel's headers yeah we got to get to work on jezebel but that's the reason why I bought the helmet, because now we have the helmet. We have no reason to not go racing now. So that's on the schedule. And I hope you guys will stay tuned until then. It's going to be a little bit of a time. You know, it's not going to happen super soon, but we'll get to her. And uh, appreciate you guys for watching this little video. I know it's just a helmet stuff, but oh, I'm excited. So hope to see you guys in the next one. As always, take care. Bye-bye.